Do you worry how people perceive you? You know you want to do something, but oh, what would people think of that? You are not allowed to play small based off somebody else's opinion of you. Trying to prove people wrong or right about you is a cheap level of motivation. Rise and shine, it's espresso time. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something more inside you as well. You've got Michael Jordan level talent at something. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message from Dan Locke. Also, if you want to have more confidence and self-love, check out my 254 series. They're free. The link to join are in the description below. Problem with young people, you're not good at anything. Oh, I'm so good. No, tell me the truth. You're not good at anything. After you practice martial art, you develop this natural self-confidence. Not cockiness, but you develop this natural self-confidence. Do you worry how people perceive you? You know you want to do something, but oh, what would people think of that? What would people think of my action? Even deep down, you know that's the right thing to do, but you don't do it because you have other people's opinions, ego. You let other people's opinions stop you from doing what you know is the right thing. Those people, they could be your family. They could be your relatives. They could be your friends. They could be your high school buddies. It doesn't matter. It could be social media. You're uploading a video, you're posting on social media, you're making noise, you're getting attention. Suddenly you get a few haters, guess what? You stop. People who don't care about you. Haters and trolls who add no value in your life and some keyboard warriors, some losers, post a comment and you're like, ooh, I guess that hurts my feeling. And you stop doing what it's right. You stop doing what is gonna make you successful. Stop. Stop worrying about other people's opinions. It's just their opinions. It doesn't matter. Critics, haters, haters gonna hate. It doesn't matter. You do what you know is right. As long as you live your life based off what other people think of you, you are going to lose. Because chances are the things that you want to do aren't the things that are normally done in your family, in your community, or in your culture. You're a genius. You have Michael Jordan level talent at something. But as long as you play small because you listen to the opinions of people who are too afraid to chase down their dreams and are now telling you that you can't chase yours down, you're gonna lose. So I just got back from speaking in Phoenix at an event with Brendan Burchard, Dean Graziosi, Eric Thomas, and I had a, I had a very important speech and I was backstage and ready to go and it's, it seems like it's taking forever to get me on stage and I'm, and I'm just, I got my message in my head. My biggest fear is disappointing people, letting people down. And so I was worried I was gonna get on stage and bomb and disappoint the people who paid money to be there, disappoint Brendan Burchard and Dean Graziosi. And so I didn't wanna fail. And so I'm backstage and I'm pacing. I'm pacing, I'm going through what I wanna say in my mind and I'm pacing, I'm pacing back and forth and just imagining what the audience is gonna look like. And, and in my head, I was like, I'm just trying to visualize everything and I'm walking back and forth. And then I open my eyes and I'm in, I'm in the back with all the other speakers and, and they're watching me, right? Not watching me like a hawk, they're, they're doing other stuff, but then they see me and the first thing that comes to my head is, man, these guys are watching me pace. I, I, I don't want them to know that I'm nervous. And as soon as I felt that pressure, even though they weren't pressuring me, even though they're not sitting there judging me, uh, in my head, I felt like they were. And as soon as I felt that pressure, the easy thing to do is just go pace somewhere else, right? Just just go off and hide so that they don't see me. But instead, I, I, I did it in full view, just because, just because I was afraid of them seeing me nervous. And then Brendan Burchard comes up to me and says, hey, how you doing, you ready to go? I said, I'm nervous. It's good, I mean, I'm, ner I'm ready to go and I'm nervous. And he told me a story about Bruce Springsteen who said something like, if you're not nervous, then, then you shouldn't be in the game anymore. That he's nervous every time he goes out on stage too. And I didn't really need the words of encouragement. It was more the telling him that I was nervous made me nervous, right? And so I wanna lean in. I wanna lean in on the things that make me nervous, especially when it's other people's opinions. If you are playing small in your life, if you are not chasing down your goals because you're worried about somebody else's opinion of you, whether they even think about it or not, 
I'm sure Brendan and Dean and the other guys didn't really care that I was pacing and walking around. They had their own routines. Before Brendan goes on stage, he's, he's hitting himself. He's doing this and like hitting his legs and just waking up his body. And he does that behind stage before he goes up. Dean has his own thing. Eric, I'm sure, has his own thing. Tony's got to jump on his trampoline three times and squirt something in his mouth. Like everybody's got their thing. And it's okay. It's okay. You've got your thing too. And you need to do your thing. And if anybody else looks at you and thinks that's weird, then lean into it harder. Just because. Because you are not allowed to play small based off somebody else's opinion of you. So how do you actually do it? How do you actually recognize when you're playing small? And how do you bust through that fear? I'm gonna give you a three-step process that I think will help. Step number one is the boom boom test. This is when your heart's going boom 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 boom. It's beating out of your chest. That means it's go time. That means whatever is causing this thing means you have to go off and do it. What often happens when we're doing something difficult or scary or, or we might let somebody down or fail in front of other people, we'll find a really smart reason to convince ourselves why we shouldn't do it, right? Well, we can't do that because X, Y, Z. And, and you're a smart person, so you'll come up with a really smart reason why you can't do it, right? You're not gonna buy a really crappy reason, you come up with a smart reason why you can't do it. But when you feel it in your body, when you feel your heart pounding out of your chest, it's hard to talk yourself down from that. It's hard to come up with a logical reason. Nah, you're just afraid. You're just scared. And it's usually afraid of failing in public, right? You, you can sing in the shower, but you won't sing on the street because you're worried about failing, not just failing, you're worried about failing in front of other people. And so teach yourself. When your heart's going this, boom, 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 you're afraid of doing something, especially when it's somebody else's opinion or judgment of you, then you have to do it. Train yourself, catch it and then execute. Set number two is reduce negative people. Look at the people around you in your life. Do they support you? Do they cheer you on? Do they tell you that you're Michael Jordan, that you have insane abilities, that you should go off and conquer the world, that your mission is possible, that your vision is achievable? Are those the kind of people that you have in your life? If not, then are the people around you telling you that you suck, that you'll never do it, that people like us can't get there? If that's what's in your mind always, then you wanna limit exposure. Limit exposure to the negative, toxic people in your life. These are people who, are good people. I think humans are good, but they're misguided. They've never done the thing that you're trying to do. They maybe took one chance at their dream, didn't work out, and so now nobody can have their dream. They've, they've told themselves a story that dreams aren't possible. And so the more that you're around it, especially at the beginning when you're trying to build yourself up, it's hard, it's hard to keep going. And so think about the friends that you hang around. Think about your family that you hang around, the people that you spend the most time with. How many of those people, when you leave them, when you're, you're saying thank you, your conversation, hug, handshake, whatever, you're walking away, how many of those people do you feel better about yourself after having a conversation with them? How many of your friends and family do you feel better about yourself, more energy, more uplifted, more confident, more bold as a result of spending time with them? Those are great people. You wanna spend more time with them as much as possible. And how many people, when you're hanging around them, you feel worse about yourself. You lose energy, you feel more negative, you become more pessimistic, you feel more lethargic, you feel more lazy, you feel more just let things as they are. Stop trying to make a difference, stop trying to make an improvement. How many people do you hang around and then you feel worse about yourself after? And stop spending as much time with them. Limit your exposure. Maybe that's your mom, and maybe you don't wanna cut her off, but maybe you limit exposure to the topics. Maybe you don't talk about your career and your goals and your ambitions because you know it's gonna to lead to a dark place. Limit exposure to negative people. And set number three is inject believe daily. Whatever the thing is that makes you come alive, that makes you feel bold, confident, passionate, like you're capable of doing amazing things that you actually think that you could be Michael Jordan, that you have world-class talent at something. Whatever the thing is that makes you feel that way, you need it daily in your life, daily because you can feel on top of the world right now. Maybe you watch this video and it's getting you fired up or you had a great call or you met a friend or you listened to a podcast, something, and you feel on fire, you're gonna wake up tomorrow and you're not gonna feel on fire. You may not feel like garbage, but you're not gonna feel the same level of feeling that you're feeling right now. So whatever the thing is that makes you feel bold, unstoppable, powerful, confident, you need it daily, every single day. You need to inject that belief daily into your life. I make these videos for me. I wanna be around people who are playing a bigger game, 
who are thinking on a higher level than I am. I want that daily in my life, in my, in my life of having videos come in, in my life of having my physical environment here behind me, in my habits, my routines, every day. Because it pulls me forward. Steve Jobs pulls me forward. Dan Locke pulls me forward. Kanye West pulls me forward. They're pulling me into greater direction. So whatever the thing is for you that makes you feel belief in yourself, whether it's an actual human that you meet face to face or what I call aspirational mentors, people that you can learn from on YouTube, on podcasts, in books, whatever that thing is for you, whatever that feeling, you felt bold, confident, alive, powerful, you felt it before. What led to that? And then demand that from you every day. Put it into your morning routine. And it's not enough just to check the boxes. Too many people check the boxes in the morning routine. It's like, yes, great, I did the eight things that I said I was gonna do. Are you feeling bold? If you don't feel bold at the end of your morning routine, then you need to change your morning routine or you need to at least do it with a little more intention. If you're watching a video, but you're also washing the dishes and brushing your teeth and making your bed, then you're not paying attention to the video. Then you won't get the feeling. So you can check the box and say, I watched the video. But if you did not get the feeling, you have to go back and do it again. Because if you started your day with the thing that made you feel belief, confidence, alive, vibrancy, boldness, that you actually are Michael Jordan, that's something. If you felt that, you did that every single day, man, your life's about to change. I promise you. Now I have a really special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, question of the day, I wanna know who do you need to stop listening to? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, I promise you take some action after watching it. We don't just watch videos here, we do something about it. Give me a hashtag believe down in the comments and then keep that promise and commitment to yourself and go do something. Trying to prove people wrong or right about you is a cheap level of motivation, right. and it will wear out. In other words, it's not its not the lack of it, it's just its not the best type. People say, well, hey, Tom Brady, six round draft pick, I mean, he's constantly trying to prove them that they picked the wrong guys. I know Tommy a little bit, and I can tell you, that motivates him, but if you think he's become the greatest football player of all time because he's trying to prove people from 20 years ago wrong about where he was drafted, right. you don't get elite performance. Tom Brady is where he is because he sets standards for himself and has massive goals and ambitions to, for himself, not to prove other people wrong. I promise you, when he's sitting under center in the Super Bowl, he's not going, I was a six-round draft pick. That's not what moves him. Yeah. And so I think it's low-level motivation. I do it too. And the sooner you you drop it's it's a, it's the symptom of the same disease right so proving your family wrong or right is a symptom of the same disease which is you are still obsessed with what other people are thinking about you and yeah. not doing things that make you happy that enrich you that fulfill your soul and so the irony about spending your life worrying about what everybody else thinks about you here's the irony is that those people will never be thought about after they're dead so they spend their life obsessing with everyone thinks about them only to die and have no one ever remember them because people that are so obsessed with what other people think about them never really ever fulfill their potential. So once you can drop that addiction, whether it's friends, strangers, or your parents, and you begin to do things that fulfill you, that make you happy, yeah. that change other people's lives by yeah. your contribution, now you can be remembered. Mm -hmm. Now your, your life echoes into eternity, even if it was a quiet life, right? Hi, this is Dan Locke. If you're a fan of Evan's work, if you want to know exactly how to model my success, I want to invite you to join me for a special online training. All you have to do is click on the link below. You can join me for absolutely no charge. So click on the link below and I will see you in class. If you want Dan Locke's views on how to stop being negative, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. You are walking down the street and suddenly you hear and suddenly you see a red Ferrari just drove by. What's the first thought that comes through your mind? 